started uh, my career as a medical doctor working in a center for students where I give sex education to students, I provided contraception and at that time in Belgium uh, abortion was illegal and even uh, advocating condoms was illegal. And I'm not that old actually, so uh, it's, it's quite interesting how things have changed in Belgium at least and not everywhere else. But IPPF was already important at that stage to provide sex education material, to provide uh, advocacy around uh, what to do with uh, complications of illegal abortion and so on. From there I went to Africa and I worked mainly on uh, modern child care. And in that context, in Africa, the importance of contraception was, of course, very important, but also mother care. Again, IPPF and volunteers on the ground were very important at that stage to help with a range of issues. I advocated to IPPF also that they should include sexually transmitted diseases and AIDS in their own services and in their own thinking. And I think they did that quite early on, actually. In the European Commission, I developed, I was asked to develop policies, policies and programs. And from in the beginning, I was very keen to develop specific sexually transmitted disease and sexual reproductive health programs, including on AIDS, so an integrated program. And uh, there, IPPF was a, a, a very close partner for, for, for us, for me and for us. It's a federation, so it's a present in most of the countries but it's also present at global level so local and global and the connection between both is very important because what is decided at global level gets implemented uh, but what is told at local level gets also listened to at global level so to me that is very important the second uh, the second important point for me is that IPPF has diversified the, um, the funding and therefore it's possible to be quite independent from uh, not dependent on one funder or one resource and therefore be present throughout the cycles of uh, political uh, constellation because the issues that IPPF deals with goes through ups and downs in the political constellation. So IPPF being there is important because for the moment uh, I don't think the European Commission is very vocal on the issues anymore. Luckily we have a less uh, negative atmosphere in the US. So, But IPPF is a constant uh, and that is important because at the end of the day what counts is the services to the people and the integrated service to the people on the ground and that should not depend uh, on uh, global political cyclists if a woman gets access to uh, safe motherhood uh, or uh, safe contraception or a man gets uh, treated for a sexually transmitted disease it should not be a decision at the political, highest political level, I believe. So for me that's a very strong point in IPPF and no other organisation has that actually.